Uh huh, honey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today's video is a hair tutorial. I put some passion twists in my hair. I know y'all see a little foundation around my hairline. Listen, I'm a, I, I, I got beat and I, I, I was being sloppy. But um, I did some passion twists. They're so long. Like, let me stand up. They're literally past my waist. Like, they're mid thigh. They are super duper long. Super duper long. Honestly, the pack I bought said 22 inches. I don't know. Cause it, it feel like like 40. But anyway, I did these super cute passion twists. Let me just give you some of the specs. I did use a lot of hair. I used about 10 packs of hair. I don't know how you guys are saying you only use six in your tutorial. I originally bought eight. I used all eight and still needed to go out and get another pack. I probably could have got away with one, but I did want to make some of the front a little bit, the actual twists a little bit thicker. This is how it looks with two strands of the water wave. This is how it looks with about six. <laughs> So I wanted them to be thicker in appearance. So we have some thin in the back and some thick, cause I didn't want it to be so heavy. So I have some thinner ones in the back and some thicker ones towards the front of my hair, which worked well for me. It is the Twisted Up Passion Twist Water Wave number two. It is by Outre or Outre. I worked with Outre before and I found out that it was pronounced Outre. Outre, Outre, whatever. Outre, Outre, however you want to say it passion twist twist up this hair is very nice i did have passion twist previously and i used the regular water wave pack um i don't note any significant difference this hair was 5.99 a pack and the water wave was actually 6.99 so i went with the cheaper one so it took me about i want to say four or five hours to do that's including parting washing blow drying my hair hopefully the hairstyle lasts at least three weeks in my hair you guys know i change my hairstyle very often but i'm going to shut up and insert the tutorial hopefully you guys enjoy it and see you next time okay so as you can see i did do the rubber band method i parted my hair into a bunch of sections and tied it off with a rubber band this made it so much easier for me to actually twist each section because you guys know my hair is like slippery stuff don't be staying and i did have to straighten my hair it looks better with the texture of the water wave to straighten your hair because otherwise it just looks so frizzy and you got to use so much of this pomade so I did opt for the crochet method. I just slide a crochet hook under the rubber band and pull the hair through. Pull one side to one side. And you can either start off by braiding your twist or you can simply just twist straight down. Some of them I braided it, some of them I twisted. It depends on the texture of your hair. If your hair holds a twist fine, you can go ahead and leave it to twist it. But if you feel like it might slip out, because again, the water weight here, it has like no texture to it. So it's hard to really get the twist to really stay. So you can start off by braiding a little tiny bit and then just twisting. And keep in mind when you're twisting, you want to twist the hair as well. So I'm going to show you in a few seconds. So as you can see, as I'm twisting, I'm twisting the hair because you want to lock those twists into place. You don't want it to just unravel when you get to the bottom. So twist the hair and then twist it around each other. Add a little pomade when you get to the end of your hair so it blends nice. This pomade is great. It doesn't leave any white residue. It doesn't turn into grease. It's really a really, really a good product. And then you can alternate between twisting the hair and just twisting straight down, but you always want to finish off the twist by twisting the actual hair and then locking it together. So I'm going to show you one more time and that's pretty much how you do it. It's really simple. If you can twist, you can do this. If you can put your hair in a rubber band, you can do this. It's really easy. Um, for each strand I did, for each braid, twist, whatever you want to call it, I did use about, in the front, about six pieces of hair to make them fuller. And in the back, I used about two to three pieces 
because the hair gets very dense it gets very heavy so just keep that in mind and hopefully this is you know easy for y'all try it out let me know and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>